Day three of self-quarantine. <laughs> Are you going crazy yet? <laughs> Feel a little, little. I'm an on-the-go person, and the fact that I can't be on the go, it's really, really hurting me. Very much so. All right, ready for the dog spark? It's gonna be fun. So good. So, um, my mother hasn't called me yet or talked to me since me missing the wedding on Saturday. Um, I just talked to my Aunt Laura though. She seems okay with me missing it. Uh, she didn't give me a hard time. She didn't make me feel bad or anything like that. Um, asked her how the wedding was and she said it was lovely. And I'm really sad that I had to miss it. Um, uh, yeah, I texted my cousins who got married and I was like, hey, listen, this is why I didn't come. Hope you guys can understand. And he was like, listen, we love you. We understand. No worries. Thank you. I was like, okay, good. So that made me feel a little bit better. Um, I'm still feeling a lot of anxiety just from all of the drama um, of the world. Um, one day without Facebook did not kill me, although I feel more anxiety because I'm not on there looking at everything. And like, you do become very addicted to it where like automatically you just click on it on your phone or automatically you just click on it on a browser. Oh God, it's horrible. I hate it so much. Um, and I find myself bored and wanting to go on it because that's what I do with my boredom is I go on Facebook. Um, so it's frustrating, um, but I'm making it through. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Uh, even though I'm still home quarantined, uh, you know, I can still celebrate. I think there's nothing wrong with it. Also, I'm kind of still celebrating Christmas because my Christmas tree is still up. I told Adam we should probably take it down this week, seeing that we're not doing anything. Well, I'm not doing anything. We're not going anywhere. Maybe. Maybe. Um, all right. So St. Patrick's Day, Adam normally makes corned beef, and the Martins normally have a party at their house. Um, they're still having a gathering at their house. There's a surprise at 11 o'clock, um, so we might venture down there to see. Uh, Jeff just came over to get... Um, a folding table and I was like how many people are at your house and he goes I don't know like eight and I said oh so I won't get sick then because the new quarantine is uh 10 people and under like 10 people no more than 10 and he goes yeah you're not gonna get sick then over here and I said like, oh maybe I'll stop by then uh we'll see if I actually do or I don't uh I was uh telling Adam that I'm feeling crazy and that it's really hard for me to stay home because even if I have no place to go or reason to go, I'll still go out because I like going out. I like seeing people. I like the feeling of being free and doing what I want to do. So um, I can't right now and that's upsetting. Yeah, so that's upsetting and um, I feel trapped. I had therapy yesterday. It was a Skype telephone call, well, a FaceTime telephone call. And uh, I realized that I'm depressed and with her helping, she's going to try and help me through this. <laughs> um, I don't find joy in anything anymore. And this has been a little bit while. And I think it started last year when Greg passed away. Like, me not wanting to vlog or pull my camera out to take a picture or go someplace. Like, I've been very, like, secluded in myself. And um, I was watching vlogs from, like, three years ago. And I was like... Look how much joy I had. I was excited just for life. And like, I was excited to like partake in just like everyday things. And um, I'm not anymore. And like, that's, that's really sad because it's not me, it's not who I am. Like the thought of leaving the house most days mm, doesn't really excite me. And um, like the thought of interacting with people, not really excited. And uh, I just, I don't find those simple pleasures and joy. Like I used to be cool with vlogging, pulling my camera out and having nothing to talk about and talk. Not anymore. I feel like there needs to be a reason or something happening or I don't, I don't know. I think it's because I, I don't have that spark of joy anymore. I fake it most of the time. I fake it a lot of the time, let's be honest. I fake it a lot. And um, I've been really mean, like really mean. And I'm not meaning to be mean, but like, I've been mean. And Adam's like, you have to stop that. You need to go back to your fairy tale land of happiness. And I was like, yeah, but you used to make fun of me and tell me that I'm living in a dream world and like, there aren't dreamers. Like, you're... and he goes, yeah, but there can only be one cynic in the household. There can't be two of us. So I'm gonna need you to stop that. And I was like, 
<laughs> whatever is so funny but no I don't I don't know what it is and I like made a list of all the things that I'm sad about and then Adam did like counterpoints to show like why I shouldn't be sad and I was like can I just be sad and he was like no you need to stop and I was like fine whatever and he was like hey we can do this this and this and I was like yeah I'd rather just go to bed I'm not motivated to do that and he's like really I was like yeah sorry but I'm gonna try I I know I have a little depression in me right now and uh I know what my faults are and uh, I'm gonna make an effort to try. I'm gonna do it. Hold me accountable, people. Hold me accountable. Thanks, Kalina. Appreciate it. <laughs> Social distancing. Social <laughs> distancing. My neighbors uh, hired a bagpiper to come out and play some bagpiping at 11 o'clock. And now it's 11.30. Ooh, it's still going. I can hear it. She keeps taking breaks in between. Obviously, they'd catch her breath. And everybody wants photos. Uh, it's killing me the fact that I can't go two houses down and hang out with everybody. Um, so I'm standing in front of my house. And they're all waving at me and I'm like, hi. Uh, Joe came down, but he like stayed his distance from me and Kalina and them came out and like they stayed their distance from me too. And I was like, Kalina, take a picture of me so far away from everybody else. This is hilarious. Fun, right? Yes. Uh, I love bagpipers and Adam loves bagpipers. And of course he was out there and then all of a sudden he got a call from work. So we had to go inside so I can hear him still on a cell phone call for work. Um, but I know he's really, really missing this. And, like, he didn't get to see them on Sunday because the parade was canceled and all these things. So, I'm sad for him. I'm sad for everybody. <laughs> it's horrible. But I am festive and I'm all out for St. Patrick's Day. So, yay! So, I think it was last week, Adam made a holding station, charging station for his tools. And I was like, oh, you know, I could use a charging station for my chargers. Like, right now, they're just all, like, in a basket. And he was like, all right, I'll see what I can do. And this is what he made me. Look at it. Isn't it cool? So the charges are all on the top shelf. And the bottom has like charging station for my headphones, my iPad. And then this is a printer for photos. Look how nice it looks. I love it. He is just so handy all of a sudden. Not all of a sudden. He's always been handy, but like he's extra handy with like household things and stuff like that. So I'm loving it. Mm.